Yo, 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 if you a foodie in the moody, then what's goody? You in the right hoodie. It's your girl Kay, and I'm back with today's video. I will be making whiting fish for the very first time. I'm not really a fan of fish. I probably had only salmon in the past recent years, so that's on the menu today. You know I'm used to that creme de la creme, the best of the best. Crab legs, the lobster tail, shrimp, scallops. Things of that nature, but I never really tapped into fish too much. So today we're gonna be making Brussels sprouts, some candy yams. Yeah, how I do it step by step. What's good though, KB Nation? Like, how y'all doing out there? I gotta figure out if I can still call y'all KB Nation. We still is K and B, so I'm like, why not? But if you're not already subscribed to our other channel, which is like vlogs, tech reviews, travel, and everything in between, tap into that as well. Love from all. It's always good with me, you heard? So without further ado, do we're gonna get into this video, but let me give y'all a disclaimer. I am not a chef. I'm not a cook. I'm not true to this. I'm new to this. I pick and choose recipes from where I've seen them online, TikTok, YouTube, etc. So please don't come for me if I'm not doing it correctly or a certain way. Give me some tips and tricks. And right here, y'all see that honey right behind the bustle sprouts. Please comment below some of the containers you use to store your honey because we need it desperately. Like this is not doing the job. But anyway, if you're interested in a free laptop, brand new, go ahead and subscribe to KMB TV. Leave a honey emoji next to your comment for a chance to win. But go ahead and go to that channel if you're interested. Free 99 giveaway, Road to 1K. So just be subscribed and leave those comments with a honey emoji next to it. Let's get into this video. Stay tuned. First on the docket, we have a sweet potato for the candy yams. I know you're like, yo, what is that? I was bucked out too. I'm like, Mr. Potato Head grew some dreads, but it's like roots because it's ready to spud and be put back into the earth. So it is, you know, come from the ground. So it's perfectly normal. I Googled it. Don't be scared. Now if it's mold and mushy, throw it out. The other ones were bad, but this was huge enough for me to make both for me and B. So I'm just gonna peel it. Uh, cut it off make sure you get the skin off this is not something you want to eat so I just put it with a potato potato pillar this this potato right here he was reluctant stubborn he didn't want to get pilled like he, he took me through some trials and tribulations you heard like he was shucking and driving moving and bucking like a horse <laughs> and he even broke my um, potato pillar like I had to re it back in but it's all good I fixed it so here is pretty plain and simple. Just chop them into bite-sized pieces, small enough so you can eat it. You don't want to eat these whole things raw. I mean, you could, but I preferably just chop them up small. That's how I'm used to it from eating from other people and from what I've seen. So that's just how I did it. Everything is sliced and diced, ready to go in a medium-sized pan. I don't know what you bake cookies in, brownies, whatever, it don't matter. You pour some sugar over it, about half a cup. It may look like a lot, but it's truly not. And then you're going to lay that with some brown sugar. Brown sugar, baby. I get high off your love. I want some of your brown sugar. Every time I hear brown sugar, I don't know why I just think of that song. But last but not least, well, it's not last, but thirdly, we're going to add a little bit of butter. A little bit of butter, baby. Because what do you ever say? Butter make it taste butter. It sure does, but not too much. We're going to put like five or six cubes or a teaspoon worth. And then we're going to dab it off with a little bit of cinnamon. If you're allergic, don't do it. But this is just a little icing on the cake, if you will. Cover this thing up with some foil and then take it off halfway through while it's cooked. Put it on like 45 minutes for 400 degrees. 
It could be nice and tender, baby. chicken well boneless chicken bites you want to add a little bit of mustard shout out to queen naja for putting me on i'm sure y'all have done it for years you know i'm new to this i true to this i keep telling y'all that you want to add a little bit of cayenne to this i think i added some garlic powder yep that was right up next and just season it to your liking you don't necessarily have to use what i use but salt pepper adobo creole cajun mix Whatever the case may be, it will all go well with some boneless chicken breast bites. And we're going to get these nice and glazed and covered with the mustard so we can do the flowering process next. It should look just like that. fun part right here you get to shake 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 it up shake the room until they're nice and coated you know that's the key thing you want them to be 100% coated look just like that and I'm just gonna place them in this bowl because I wasn't frying them at the moment but if they fresh and ready to go so the fire that oil is hot do it instantly but I just put them here so they wouldn't get stuck and lost in the sauce because sometimes you can't find the pieces in the flour but that's just me. If you ready to drop them, drop them while they hot. All right? The last little guy. You just drop them in there. Put the lid on. There we go. Y'all see me adding the flour with the cornstarch to create this flour base. Now, if you're from Harlem, New York City, you already know what Sylvia's is. This is her, I guess, authentic fish fry that I wanted to incorporate in there for a little bit of color as well as flavor because it is slightly seasoned. So they may look a little different from what you're used to, whiting, whatever you call it, fish. <laughs> I'm still trying to get used to this fish thing you heard. But they came very long, so I cut them in half and made them into, I guess, regular sized pieces. I didn't want them that long, and my pot is not that big. So I just splashed it with mustard again with the seasonings, the seafood seasoning, and cayenne pepper and garlic powder. And I just smeared them. I used the transfer method, just sliding them from one piece to the next. And then we're about to coat these bad boys. They're gonna look something like this. Shine like that.
I didn't use the whole bag of Brussels sprouts. I'm actually going to lose the little ones for my seafood board that I'm making today. So stay tuned for that video. But you just want to cut them in halves like I've seen on a lady on TikTok. You just cut them in half. You could cut the bottom if you want, but I just chose to leave them on. Then we're going to add some oil, season them, and prepare them for the steamer. this came with a set that I ordered. They don't really do too well as far as the rust situation, but I think it's um, dope that it came with a steamer, so that's probably the only reason why they get a little bit of credit from me. I had to take you guys off the tripod so we can get a little personal, you know? But I will be putting you back. That was the whole purpose, you know? Um, don't want to give you guys half, you know, what content. You know, I want to give them my all for anything that we do. Bee's not here right now. Um, she's dealing with a tough time with family and passing. So, send her some love and blessings and prayers and condolences. But, um, yeah, so, I'm about to put this on your steamer. You hear my oil heating up. She's about ready to go. And I'm just gonna put my little nuggets in here for 12 minutes for some canola oil. You've seen one air fry, you've seen them all. I might show you about it. Y'all still here? Y'all still rocking with me? Okay, good. Y'all seen we got the Brussels sprouts prepped and ready to go for the steamer. Now here is the actual fish frying process. We just heat that oil up really high. You can turn it down mid in between cooking so it's cooked inside out thoroughly without burning it. That's what we don't want is burnt food. We don't do that on this channel, you heard? So we're going to put that in there for like 8 minutes to medium high heat. Keep flipping it, flipping it, get that nice color in there. frying I just wanted to show y'all the setup I was doing in case you wondering or need some equipment ideas for when you're doing long term I said long term long term footage and then short like 60 seconds TikToks reels etc etc tripod then you got the mirror to see while you're filming from your phone because you always want to use the back 
camera, never the front, for better quality. Like I shoot in 4K on the phone and the camera. So just a little behind the scenes footage. And I can go up and down to get the best angles possible. Y'all had a first bite. Mmm. First bite of the chicken. Let's try that. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. That is good. I just added some honey. Hot sauce, a little bit of butter to the mix, and drizzle it over the fish and the chicken. Now for this Brussels sprout. I'm gonna try a piece of chicken. Mmm, hear that crunch? Mmm. Let's try the yams. First bite of the yams. Mmm. They're so tender. You can't tell. Oh, and they just amount of sweetness. Mm. I'm about to dig in. I'm hot. And uh, it's about that time to grub. So I hope y'all enjoy. Comment below if you're gonna try it. What else I should try? took me about an hour to do this I guess since I was filming for the shorts and the channel but it shouldn't take you guys that long and what I like about the fish it doesn't have that fishy taste I did what the lady told me to do she told me to spray a lemon juice over it to cut the fishy taste and I did seasoned it the mustard you can't taste if you guys are worried about the mustard taste i was too at first but i saw queen Niger making and she said it's not gonna taste like mustard when she was doing her chicken brussels sprouts i could have cooked them a little longer because they're still kind of like crunch crunch i would like it a little more tender and soft but overall everything is just a one it's delicious the fish the chicken the yams the what do you call them sweet potatoes all of this is fire from a 1 to 10 rating myself i give it a solid 8 i give the yams a 10 the chicken a 10 the fish i'm still getting used to it but it's like an 8 for me you know the creme de la creme of this is the chicken and the um the yams but everything is good i would serve this you know the dogs could eat it the kids the familia everybody just wanted to give you all a little review on what it tastes like until next time, mama, 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 mia. Well, I guess I'll see ya. Thank you for watching. Yo, look, I got a cat, but man's on no cap. I'm in the future, that man throwbacks. I'm the best in my ends, and they know that. So that's a waste of breath trying to explain. I heard fat things with the best brain. So let me take my chit, no boo. Then beat up the black Goku.